Hey, Stola Hansen here. In this video, I'm going to share something special with you. The ultimate PowerShell Pomodoro timer for PC. This is what it looks like. I open my Pomodoro PowerShell timer and it asks me, how long is your Pomodoro? Typically, you want to choose between 10 and 25 minutes, depending on the length of your Pomodoro. In this instance though, I'm going to choose two minutes. What is happening? Well, first off, my computer goes to presentation mode to suppress those pop-ups. Next, I'm removing badges from Outlook and Teams, which means that I don't see any new messages and I don't get distracted by that. Then I'm opening my Spotify playlist so that I can start my flow state music. After that, I'm using if this and that to mute my phone for a duration of the Pomodoro. Check this out. So I'm unlocking my phone here and here you see I am in do not disturb mode. How cool is that? And this will go off when the Pomodoro ends. And then best of all, I am now in focusing mode in Teams. Have you seen this? It is so cool. Now I am in the focusing state, which tells my peers that I am focusing on something. They shouldn't expect a direct answer. I won't get disturbed by calls or something like that because it's a custom state created by my analytics, which I manipulate by using Microsoft Flow. By the end of the Pomodoro, you see the timer going here, so I know when it's finished as well. Two things happen when I do this. One, I actually reach the flow state, so I actually keep on going if I can. Two, I get av available again, which means that teams will come back on, Outlook will come back on, pop-ups will not be suppressed, my mobile will be available again. Let's see what happens when the timer times out. So the timer is timing out. My PC is resetting. It's actually Explorer that is rebooting after I changing the badges. And my mobile now should be set to available. And yes, here it is. I am not on Don't Disturb anymore. And then very soon now, Teams will reset. And there we go. Teams just reset. How cool is this? Why is this important on so many levels? Well, as I told you, you become available again after the Pomodoro is finished. Which means that you are not unavailable for a long period of time. People can reach you. And the point is that it's okay to be disturbed. Lorian talked about the Pomodoro technique, the basics, in the first part of this video series. And he tells you that typically you will run a Pomodoro, take five minute breaks and then run another Pomodoro. I use it so that I can jumpstart productivity. And if I can't keep going, I will, but it is okay to get distracted by, you see here now I have a unread message, I have a new email. Just let's check those and see if I need to reprioritize something. Now the question is, how can you get started with this? And it's important for me that you succeed with it. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can get started. There are two things you need. You need the PowerShell script and you need the Power Automate Flow. And you will find both of them on my very popular blog post about this subject. Let's check it out. Here we are at the blog post. And what we're going to do is go to GitHub and download those two files. The first file is the PowerShell file, opening new tab. And the second one is this HTTPS trigger universal Pomodoro focus timer script, which is actually Power Automate, opening new tab. It's easy to save. You just right click raw and save link as. Then you will just get the full file. In this instance, I'm going to load it into my Pomodoro folder on my local disk. Next, you want to download the zip file for Power Automate. Here you go to download and the zip file gets downloaded 
to your local download folder. So let's break this down. I'm going to open the PowerShell script and we're going to take a look. Here you see that I open the script in PowerShell ISE. You see that it is a function, which means that we need to go to the bottom of the script in order to run it. Here is the actual run code. And this is what you need to care about. By default, it's just start simple Pomodoro. And the reason for why I have this in the script is because I want you to be able to just click on it and start it really quickly. So we will actually put everything into the script itself instead of running it with parameters. If you just run start Pomodoro, it will run for 25 minutes. It will set your computer to presentation mode and remove the badges. That's it. So no PowerShell for Power Automate. No if this then that. The first thing I'm going to add is Spotify. So here I'm adding Spotify, Spotify playlist and add your favorite Spotify. I will link this list in the description field below so you can check out my Spotify playlist. Next. I will add if this then that, which means that I need to have two if this and that triggers you need to create in if this then that. And this is optional. So if you don't add this, your phone won't be muted and the script will run just fine. And you need to create some webhooks to do this. You need to create some triggers. And I have a blog post I'm linking in the description field below on how you do that, because I won't go into details into how you do that in this video. So I'm going to add the mute trigger, the unmute trigger, and then I'm going to add the webhook key, which you will find in if this uh, then that. And don't worry, I will change my webhook key so you won't be able to run my webhooks. Next, I'm going to move over to Power Automate. And I'm going to add two things. I'm adding a secret because I want to secure my run so that don't anyone can run it for me. And uh, so I'm adding my secret. I'm going to change that. So don't worry, you won't be able to run it for me. And then I'm going to add the trigger URL, which I get from the HTTPS trigger. There's one challenge with this. And that is that this is a premium trigger in Power Automate. It uh, comes with a Dynamics 365 license or a dedicated Power Automate licenses. I'm going to use this as an example for those of you who have access to this and want to fully automate this. But I do have an alternative for those who don't have premium triggers. Stay tuned for the end of this video. And now I'm done. This is it. And all I need to do now is save it and run it. So. I run it, it asks me how long is my Pomodoro, going to put in two minutes, and it works. It mutes my phone, it removes the pop-ups, it removes the badges, starts my Spotify playlist, and I'm going. Here we also have the timer, and it will play a tune when it's finished so you know when the pomodoro is finished now over to the second part where we're going to go to power automate and import the flow so i'm going to flow microsoft.com here in power automate i will go to my flows even though the product is called power automate the flows are still called flows i'm logged in as my buddy because that's my demo user i'm going to show you what it is to import this for the first time I go to import and I'm going to upload the file we downloaded. When it's finished uploading, I will import it. So here we have a couple of choices. First of, we're going to choose what's going to happen if you're going to update an, uh, an existing one or create a new one. In this case, I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to keep the name HGPS Trigger Universal Pomodoro Focus Time. There's one more thing you need to do and that is connect your Office 365 Outlook account. Here you see I have import done that three times, but I'm still going to show you how to create a new one. So you go to create a new, and then you will see you will arrive at connections here, and I can go and create a new connection. Here I will search for Outlook. I'm going to choose Office 365 Outlook and create. It's authenticating my user. I'm logged in as my buddy, and we're good. 
I'm going to go back now and do a refresh here. And then I will see the one that is six seconds ago. I'm going to choose that one. Now we are ready to do the import. So I click import and you see it's imported OK. Now I will go back to my flows and I will do a refresh. And there it is. It's ready. The problem here though is that I don't have premium triggers on this user. But I'm going to show you how it works anyway. So I'm going to go in and click edit. So the premium trigger, it is JSON based. So here it's looking for the duration and the secret. What you need to do is change your secret. So this is your password for running the flow. Because if the secret you put in the PowerShell script doesn't match the secret you put in here, then the flow will just automatically fail. So keep in mind uh, that you need to do this and this is the only thing you need to change. After that, what is happening is that we are getting your default Outlook calendar. We are looking for the calendar which is set to false for is removable. That means it's the default calendar in your Outlook, which is typically calendar, but it could be calendar in Norwegian or something else in other languages. And that's it. You can dive into this flow yourself after you have downloaded it. Back at the script. As you saw, I didn't have a premium trigger. If you have one, you can use it. But if not, I do have an alternative for you. So what we're going to do is to do a to-do URL. What that looks like is that at the end here, I'm going to remove the secret. I'm going to remove the Power Automate URI. And I'm going to add a to-do URL. What that means is that we're going to use to-do as a trigger instead. And when we do that, something cool is going to happen. So let's take a look. So here I'm running the script and I'm going to choose two minutes. What is happening right now is that we are actually opening to do automatically. And there is one more thing that has happened. I have copied the length. So what I'm going to do here is just paste the length and click enter. And now I'm ready to do my flow. So this is to set the calendar so that I will get the focusing state in Teams. So this is a free alternative for you that you can use. I did a video on how to import that flow earlier. So check that out in this YouTube series. How do you find this URL? Well, you can actually click on the list you have and then just copy the URL you're at and it will just open that list. So here you see I've created a Pomodoro list. There's one more thing I want to show you. And this is a hack. Let's go back to GitHub. What we're going to do now is create a shortcut for our script. As you saw, I had the Pomodoro icon in my taskbar. Here's how you do it. You download the ICO file, right click download and save link as. Then you will download the ICO file. Now I'm going to show you how to create this shortcut because there is a hack for it. On your desktop, you're going to create a shortcut, new and shortcut. Here you're going to navigate to your script and choose your script and you keep the name and click finish. Now you have your shortcut. What we're going to do now is to edit it and we're going to change the target. And the target is what we have in the blog post, which is execution policy bypass. Make sure we uh, use the correct syntax to run the script and then we're going to use the icon. So change the icon, browse and go to downloads and start simple Pomodoro. Now you change the icon, click apply and congrats. Now we have the correct PowerShell Pomodoro timer. Right click and add. And now we can right click add to taskbar and we can just start it. So let's do that. And here it runs. Ask me for the duration. I'm going to choose one minute. And you are ready to run your Pomodoros. Congratulations. There are some more steps you need to take because I didn't talk about the calendar event. And in this series on YouTube, 
I'm collaborating with Lorian Strand and Dux Ryman Sai on how to do this. And Dux talked about my analytics because I'm using a my analytics calendar event, which I'm manipulating. I talked about how you set this up in my first video on how to do this using the to do trigger. Take a look at those videos. Hope you will use this because it's both fun and useful. Thanks for watching.